testimony on last night on just for y'all to just keep praying for those of us that go to the prison because last night was so powerful when we did the altar call those women ran up people are tired people want the lord and you know sometimes when we're ministering you know you feel that tiredness because you work during the week but when you see god move that way your energy comes back. Your energy is like, oh, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Seven women ran up to that seven completion. They ran up to that class in the front of the classroom, weeping and crying and just ready to give their lives to the Lord. And what a privilege and honor it was to see that. And then uh, the women on Unit 9, I was on Unit 2, the DUI unit. The women on Unit 9, there were three rededications. And I told them, I said, don't take rededication lightly because here's one that rededicated her life like 20 years ago. And I never looked back. Amen. So I just want you guys in your prayer time to cry out for George Hill and cry out for God to send more laborers to help us with this work that we're doing there for the women's ministry and the men's ministry and that God is moving in that place we want God to move in that place in such a way and he shows us that he's moving by the way the women are coming unit two used to only have a couple women now last night we had 23 women that came 23 women came amen so just keep the uh, prison ministry in prayer and just keep those people that run the facility in prayer too. Amen.